ProfitRage.com. This is the twelfth video in a series of movies that shows you exactly how to make money online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Yahoo search marketing account so that you can show ads on Yahoo's search listings and you can drive targeted traffic to your landing page. Uh, Yahoo Search Marketing is what you use in order to get your ads listed on the Yahoo under Yahoo Sponsored Search uh, on their search pages. And uh, if you go to ProfitRage.com, uh, we typically have a list of different sign-up bonuses you can get for signing up to Yahoo Search Marketing. You can see sometimes 10 to $100 worth of free advertising if you sign up using uh, one of our links. So if you go to the sponsored search page, you see this, uh, and a great demo video you can use to help familiarize yourself with the system is this video right here. Uh, I would recommend that you watch that before you even continue with this video. Once you're done watching that, you can click here to sign up and um, fill out all your information. I would do the self-serve, don't do the assisted setup. Do the self-serve, sign up. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just enter your name and stuff. Uh, time zone, pretty straightforward. So once you sign up to this, you log in and you'll see something like this. Click over on campaigns here and then click on create campaign. Scroll to the bottom here and click get started. Then you're going to want to enter your campaign name. We'll say new online dating camp. Uh, you're going to want to do specific regions targeted by state, province, territory. You're only wanna gonna you're only going to want to advertise in the United States. Most of these Azugal ads offers are only valid for people that are in the United States. So deselect the 50 United States and deselect all of Canada here. Next, select tactic. This is where you create an ad group. It gets a little confusing here. A campaign is an overall general category and it contains ad groups within it. Ad groups have keywords and ads inside each ad group. Uh, you can only have 1,000 keywords per ad group, and you can only have 20 ads per ad group. And you can have as many, I believe you can have as many ad groups as you want per campaign. Uh, it's a little confusing, so if you need some more assistance on getting your arms around this, this concept, you can go up here, click Help, and uh, read through Yahoo Search Marketing's tutorial to try to familiarize yourself with the system. So we're going to start an ad group. We'll call it Ad 1, Ad 11. You're going to want to turn off Content Match. Uh, what that is is it displays your ads on sites that are not Yahoo. And leave Sponsored Search on. And that's what uh, gets your ad displayed under Yahoo's Sponsored Search listings. Leave the Match Type on Advanced. And then click Next, Choose Your Keywords. Um, if you want Yahoo to suggest some keywords for you, you can use this system over here. However, if you've already generated your keyword lists like I've uh, recommended, you can insert them over in here. So pull up your keyword list here. Copy. Paste. Simple as that. Click Next Bid. So you can enter in 500 keywords per time. So if you have you know, 10,000, you have to enter them in 20 times. Now, here's your bid. You're going to want to bid 10 cents. Max bid of 10 cents, that's the minimum you can bid. Ignore this stuff over here. It's, it, it doesn't help you a tremendous amount. Next, you're going to want to write your ad. This part is pretty important. This is actually what's shown up on Yahoo's site to try to entice people to click your link and get to your landing page. Here's a sample ad. We'll say the title is online dating. Um, description. See, you can only have a certain number of characters and see how it just turned it a uh, different color. Well, i got to take some of those characters off so that I meet that character limit. Here's a preview of what your ad's going to look like. Uh, when someone searches for a keyword such as online dating. So you want to write your ad to try to entice people to click your link and come to your website. Uh, you can save it. Uh, the, ad doesn't, the ad name doesn't really matter a tremendous amount. Then click Next Review. 
So here's your ad group. You can either go ahead and create another ad group or you can budget and schedule your campaign. Would you like to set a campaign daily spending limit? So you can set it so that you can spend as little as $1 per day. You can make it so you spend no more than $1 per day on your, your campaign. Um, then you'd be able to spend no more than $7 per week, $30 per month, and you'd really slowly get into your, your campaign doing this. I suggest you start a, a st spending limit somewhere where around 10 bucks a day, or whatever you're comfortable with. Um, specify an end date for your campaign. Uh, if you're promoting something that is expiring, you might want to set an expiration date. However, most of my campaigns, I put no end date. Next, activate. So here's an overview of everything you selected. Um, sponsored search, new online dating camp, geo-targeting, all your stuff. You can go back and edit things. And then, finally, you click activate campaign. And there it is. New online dating campaign. It's live. It's going on right now. If you want to uh, add another ad group to add more keywords, or if you want to go into this ad group, and you can go ahead and add more keywords to this one. Add some more keywords. You can add another 500. Save. And there you go simple as that. So that's the basic basic way to get started with Yahoo search marketing. Uh, there's a lot more advanced techniques and you're going to want to take a look at them at ProfitRage.com. The next video is going to be tuning your campaign after it's already been up for a while.